Art lovers from all over New York and Canada have been heading to the Adirondacks this summer to see the works of celebrated American painter Georgia O'Keeffe. O'Keeffe is perhaps best known for her enlarged flowers and desert landscapes, but she also spent many summers on Lake George, and for the first time, 58 of her paintings from that era are being shown at the Hyde Art Museum in Glens Falls. It is surprising to visitors. I've heard them come into the gallery and say, oh, I didn't know she painted barns, or I didn't realize she painted trees or leaves, for example. So, and those are all part of her work at Lake George. In the 1920s and early 30s, O'Keefe lived and painted on the grounds of an estate just north of the village, owned by the family of her husband, Alfred Stieglitz. She didn't travel far from the estate uh, to search out subject matter. She paints the trees on the property, the flowers that she grows in her garden. Everything right around so Everything her. that is right exactly in her immediate area. She didn't feel the need like Hudson River School painters who came to Lake George in the 19th century who were searching out uh, new scenery and went on these sketching tours and they traveled up and down the lake. O'Keefe doesn't do that. She, st she stays pretty much close to home. The exhibit has drawn more than 14,000 visitors to the museum since its opening in June more than any other show. This is a very special moment in the Hyde's history. It has also been a treat for O'Keefe lovers, like Susie Gornell, who was here for the second time. She remembers her mother, who grew up in Lake George, sharing memories of how common it was to see O'Keefe and Stieglitz strolling from their hillside estate to the village. It's wonderful to see it all in um, once, or to see this in our fair space, to have the Hyde be able to have this. I just think it's, I, I'm just so excited for the Hyde. And the crowds could grow even more after getting national attention recently in the New York Times. That's a big deal. The Hyde Collection hasn't been featured in the New York Times, I think, since the late 1980s. So this is, again, this is a milestone for the Hyde Collection. Um, it's a transformational moment in our history, and it's one that's going to go down in the record books, that's for sure. In all, O'Keefe created as many as 200 paintings during her visits to Lake George. In Glens Falls, New York, I'm Tom Halleck for Metro Focus.